Part 3 Configuring Security Groups You can configure these security groups following four steps. First, make sure that you have the right region selected. Security groups are specific to regions. You cannot share them across regions. Second, click on security groups in your EC2 area dashboard. And from here, you can create security groups and modify existing security groups. When you create a security group, you define the name, the description, and then dictate the inbound and outbound rules. So for example, when we add a rule, we can say that we want inbound traffic from SSH, which comes in as a TCP protocol on port 22. And we can even go as far as dictating the sources from which will allow that connection. If we want to, we can specify the IP of the machine we're on now, or we can say anywhere, which is relatively unsecure, or we can define custom IP addresses in a range in here. As part of this course, we'll need to set up two new security groups, one for Unix application under test machine, and one for the Windows master machine. And you'll also notice that a default group is created automatically and this group will have a source ID that refers to the actual security group name. It's a circular reference if you like but it just means that any instance in this security group can access any other instance in the same security group. So every machine within our virtual private cloud that has this security group linked to it talk to any other instance in the same virtual private cloud.